In this video, I'm going to show you how to add remote controlled lights and sound to your LEGO creations. So what we have here is a uh, what I call a single wire light board. This is a small circuit board that has two LEDs on top and these light up together. I call it single wire because you have one set of uh, wires coming out. There's also a dual wire light board. This has two sets of wires and these two LEDs can be controlled individually. Uh, each wire controls, each set of wires controls a different LED. And the nice thing with this board is it's just the right size to fit into a 1x2 translucent Lego brick. There's also an infrared receiver board. This has a little black chip that receives a signal from any universal TV remote. And this board also fits into a 1x2 translucent Lego brick. All of these plug into a control board. And this control board you have uh, a little buzzer which acts as a speaker so it can make siren sounds. You have a power plug where you plug in your battery pack. Uh, there's a bigger plug on the end and that's where you plug in the infrared receiver so you can use remote control. And uh, this button right here allows you to scroll through patterns. So if you don't want to use infra or if you don't want to use an infrared remote control, you just press this button and it changes the patterns. In the middle here you have nine plugs for LEDs. So you can plug up to nine of these into this board or, uh, or eight of these uh, dual boards and then you can still fit one more so you can mix and match them. In order to power the control board, use battery boxes or battery holders. The battery boxes have an on off switch, the battery holders don't. But as you can see the battery holders are a little smaller so they're probably a little easier to build with. You can use ones with two triple A's or three triple A's. Uh, if you use three triple A's then the lights are a little brighter and the sound is a little louder but these work just fine. This is what I use. So now I'm going to show you a complete setup. This one has uh, three single wire light boards. One of the kits we sell, the basic one, only comes with three. So that's what I'm going to show you first. And as I said, you can use any universal TV remote. So I'll just go through a few patterns. This is number six. Here's number nine with sound. This is zero. Here's enter. And here's stop. Stop stops it. We have another kit or another option that comes with six light boards. So here's a few more patterns. And then of course, you also have the option to get nine. So there's what it looks like with different amounts of light boards. In order to hide wires or run your wires, there's uh, oh, that's pretty easy. The plugs are just the right size 
to fit into the holes on Technic plates or beams. Lego also makes a lot of parts with grooves or slots. I carry all these on BrickGadgets.com. This one has a vertical slot. And as you can see before, this one has a horizontal slot. This one is pretty nice. It has a little slot in the bottom. And those are all pieces that Lego makes. This one, however, is one that I've modified to give you another option. I call it a strain relief plate. You put your light board in there, and if you put it on this plate, you can run it straight out of the side, the wire straight out of the side, instead of running it through a hole or a beam. Or if you want, you can also go straight down. Either way, gives you a lot more options in uh, mounting your lights. Now, as you can see in the background here, we have a fire truck. So I'm going to show you this. This is something I made, uh, but you can make anything. And if you notice closely here, these LEDs in the back are flashing independently. So these, this is a dual wire light board, and there's another dual wire light board right here. They're flashing individually. The ones in the front, you can see these two are flashing together. These two are flashing together. All of the ones in the front are single wire light boards. So you can mix and match. And you don't have to use this big TV remote. We also carry smaller keychain remotes. This one is smaller than a normal TV remote, but it still is big enough to have all the buttons. This one is a little smaller yet. It doesn't have all of the number of keys but it still has channel up and channel down so you can scroll through the different patterns. Or turn it off. But that's not all. There are also watches that uh, have remote or infrared transmitters. Here's one type, and here's another one. So there you have it. A better way to light up your Legos. Thanks for watching.